Okay, so here we are back with the same PTZ. This time we're going to take a look at the controls from the MVR rather than a laptop logged into the PTZ itself. So from the MVR, we right click, we bring up this drop down menu. And if we choose PTZ control, you see we have this standard PTZ control box where we can move the PTZ with the basic functions again for left, right, up and down, etc. To get to the extra functions, we click this little arrow on the side here and it opens up the menu to give us preset tours, patterns, and this enter menu. These are the important ones. So if I were to go to preset position number one, or preset position number three, let's go to preset number three, uh, I'll hit this preset button and you can see it moves to preset position number three that we've previously set. Previously set. Now, it's easy enough to call tours, presets, and patterns, because all I need to do is put in a different number and press the call button. If I want to reset or move or change a preset position, I need to enter the menu on the PTZ itself. So hit this enter menu button, it changes now to just up, down, left, right arrows and enter and cancel. On the left hand side, this big clunky menu appears. If we go into the camera, we can make adjustments to the picture settings and things like that, day and night settings. Um, but in this case, we're not interested in those. So we'll go back and it's into the PTZ menu. Now we've got preset tour, scan and pattern. So if I wanted to change a preset position, for example, what I can do is enter to go into presets. I can choose left and right to go through my different presets. And as you can see, the titles are changing to match with what we set earlier. If I choose to go to number two, it should take me to that position, which it does. And if I wanted to go back to number one, to it. Okay. Now I'll right click at this point. What I want to do is make an adjustment to preset position number one because this is where it's currently sat. I want it to be a bit more zoomed in than this. So what I'll do, zoom it in, make an adjustment to the position. That does say number one but you can't really see it with the IR that's now kicked in because it's got a bit darker. I'll bring out this side menu again. I'll go into preset in here. And now I click Setup, and that actually sets this position now as preset number one. So I've now made an adjustment to preset number one. I've left all the rest the same as they were, and I can call the presets back as before. Enter a number, click the button, goes to position. And the same, if I wanted to make an adjustment to a tour, I go into PTZ, tour, Tour number one, going to set up. And it shows me the order in which I've currently got it set. So I've got one, two, five, four, three is my order. If I wanted to change the order, let's put it back into numerical order. So I'll change number three, press enter, up and down to let me change the number of the preset position. And if I press the right button, I can go across to the duration so I can change the time in which it sits in that position. Now you've got one, two, three, four on this screen. Uh, and I think if I press right, there we go, I can go to the second screen, which is five, six, seven, eight. I've just changed position number three to be key point number three. So I'm going to change preset number five to be key point number five. So enter on number five. Change the number to five, and that should now be it. I can now go exit. So now I've made an adjustment to tour number one. So, so now it should go between boxes one, two, three, four, five in numerical order. Apologies, but you can't see the number at the moment. Let me see if I can change that from the menu. 
main menu camera image and let's put it in color mode because we might be able to see the numbers then we can see the numbers again now and we can see it's gone between the boxes in numerical order so we can see that the tour has now changed with the settings that we've just changed during this little demo with the MVR. Now the image settings you can do from the MVR and it's a bit easier than using that clunky menu but you can do it from either. Um, however, as I've just found, we don't have all of the illumination settings without logging into the PTZ through a laptop. As we always recommend, with a PTZ and a lot of IP cameras in general, always useful to have your laptop. It gives you so many more options. And a PTZ has got so many functions that you need that laptop for. As always, feel free to like and subscribe. And also leave any comments below for any questions that you might have, any queries. Uh, we'll be doing future videos on other PTZ functions. So keep your eye out for those. Thanks for watching.